The NFL started the punt, pass, and kick program in 1961. It was a way that was designed to have school-age children get introduced to football without having full tackle equipment and pads. Nowadays, kids play at the young age with full pads, helmets, shoulder pads, and, and, and live ball. But back then, it was considered not, not safe, and so they introduced kids in a little bit different way. So let's learn a little bit more about the punt, pass, and kick program, and how you can get your measurements, get a score, and compare yourself with your friends. So here you can see the rules. They're pretty simple. You get three, three tries at each event. You take the best one of those three tries, add up your best punt, add up your best pass, add up your best kick, and you get a total score in yards. In this kick from a real competition, you see the judges running out to see where it lands, measuring how far it went, but then also measuring how far to the side it went. The measurement that it goes to the side, the inaccuracy, ends up getting subtracted from your total score. Okay, we're gonna show you how to throw for distance and then be able to adjust and subtract how far it goes side to side. Because remember, you're throwing for accuracy as well as distance. So I got Sam up here, he's gonna make a throw. We're gonna mark it with a cone and then we're gonna measure how far away from the line it is and subtract from there. So let's take a look at Sam. All good, Sam. It's where the ball landed, not where it rolled to. You don't get credit for the roll. And then, uh, Jordan, you want to grab this tape measure? Yeah. Put it on the cone. And he threw it, in this case, 31 yards. He's thrown it much further a couple times. But he's seven feet off the line. So that is another two yards. Okay, so 30 yards minus that two yards, he gets credit for a 28-yard throw. Notice in each of these throws, running up to the line, stopping before it, and letting go of the ball. You cannot run up over the line and expect the kick to count. That would be a foot fault. All right, next up, we got Jordan gonna make a kick for us. So let's watch that kick, and then we'll show you how to measure it with no measuring tape. I'm just gonna use big steps, because each big step I take is about one yard. Good, so mark that. All right, so the kick, if you look here, it went 33 yards, but I gotta subtract all the distance that it went sideways over here to my yellow cone. So, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven big steps is seven yards, so it went 33 minus seven, 26 yard kick. For punt, pass, and kick, then you add your punt, your best pass, and your best kick together, Whoever has the biggest total score at the end, winner. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Walk forward. Just walk forward. So there you have it. That is the golf view punt, pass, and kick regulations. Looks like it's time for you to get out there, measure your steps or get a tape measure, and add up your best punt, your best pass, and your best kick.